here's an example of what this product could do. What I see people doing is they would spray their hood with this product or any sort of cleaning product and then they'd wipe it. But with just one spray, it left the wrap nice and silky smooth. Um, it gave it the slippery feeling just like you'd get with the graphene spray. Uh, but this product is, you know, from Shine Armor, waterless wash, shine and protect. Um, now I do suggest doing this after you wash your car. Um, but anyways, it did leave a really um, slippery feel to it. So that's really cool. I recommend doing this after your car wash. Uh, that way it'll give the car an extra layer of protection uh, because the water will bead off of this product. It has like a hydrophobic coating so that anything that falls on your paint would just like come right down. This side obviously is the dirty side and then this side is the one that we wiped it with the Shine Armor product. It works pretty well. Um, I just have to buff this off a little bit. If you don't buff it off, it will leave a little bit of streak marks. So it's important for you guys to, after you spray it, make sure you buff it off a little bit. Pretty cool. Moving on to the next product. Round two, fight. So in this test, I have the Shine Armor Nano Glass Coating and I have Rain-X uh, Rain Repellent. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be spraying the Nano Glass Coating from Shine Armor on the driver's side and then the Rain-X on the rear. So that we'll see if there's a difference which product is better. So you're gonna wanna spray this after you um, get a car wash or you know if your windows are fairly clean so we're just gonna spray an even amount all throughout the window so that's pretty much good right there then take my towel and I'm just gonna wipe just wipe it like this so once product is spread all around the window Take another microfiber towel, make sure it's nice and clean, and then we're just gonna buff it out. I don't see any streaks at all. Even if we go over here, nice and clean. We're gonna wait till uh, the morning or the next day when it starts raining, and then we should see the difference between the two. How well the two products will repel water off the window. All right guys, so here is the result. As you can see, they are both repelling water. Uh, if you remember, this is the side with the Shine Armor, while this is the side with the rain -X, and they're both doing an equal amount of water repelling. All right guys, here is the hose test. Because you see how in the Shine Armor it's a lot clearer. The rain -X is not as beady as the Shine Armors. Because on the Shine Armor it vanishes instantly. A much better job uh, in my opinion. Amazing. Next we're gonna do an air test. So I have my little leaf blower with me. And we're just gonna blow the car off with air, see how well the water beads. All right, so one thing that I noticed, so the Rain-X still has like little, 
tiny raindrops on them. Whereas the shine armor, 90% of the water is completely gone. So as you can see, there's really not much water droplets on the shine armor. Final round, fight! This is the anti-fog hero from Shine Armor. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna apply this half of the windshield with the anti-fog. So this turtle is the middle pretty much. So this side is without and then this side is with. I have my boiling hot water right here. And I'm just gonna release the bubbles or the steam. There we go. But you guys get the point. I, um, this side, there's no fog whatsoever. While on this side, hopefully you guys can see there's some fog building up. Uh, anyways guys, if you find this video helpful, be sure to hit that like button and comment down below what you guys think of this video. And if you have any suggestions of what kind of videos that I should be making in the future, comment down below because I really wanna know what you guys want me to make in the future. Anyways guys, this is Chris Time FK7. Thank you all for watching. Stay warm, stay safe, and peace out.